54-year-old Li Cuiqi, a retired local resident in Beijing Jie community, enjoys dancing with her friends at a service center near her home every morning. And after that, she sits down for a rest and a chat with her neighbors. And as she says, the family service center, operated by the community charity organization, has become the place to be for local residents in their spare time. But it's not just a place for leisure. More importantly, it's also where a professional charity organization comes to provide help for low-income families and elderly who live alone. Social works visit those low-income people and elderly in our community every month to bring them some basic necessities and to see if there are any difficulties in their lives. Helping local residents is the most important part of their work. The service center in this community was the first of its kind in Guangzhou. Established in 2011, it has now some 20 full-time social service workers, and all are professional trained. To become a member of staff here, one has to have a four-year college degree in a related major, as well as having a national certification. We help people solve all kinds of problems, from applying for low-income insurance to seeking recruitment information online. Many of them cannot use a computer. Receiving 2 million yuan per year from the government, the organization is also in desperate need of social capital. Earlier this month, the China Philanthropy Forum was held in Guangzhou City to discuss ways to improve charity services in local communities. Experts called for more participation from government, social organizations, as well as enterprises to help the sector develop. We encourage other social groups and companies to play a more active role in providing better charity services, and local residents can also work to help their neighbors. In Guangzhou, nearly every community has one service center like this, making this city one of the most advanced examples nationwide. Hebei, CCTV, Guangzhou.